Sweet Baby Inc. is one of the most hated companies in the video game industry right now, and I don't see that changing anytime soon because they have worked on a plethora of large video game releases, and every single one of them has had major issues and faced major criticism. But now, a simple Steam curator list has gone up where people have simply piled together the titles that are on Steam that Sweet Baby Inc. has affected in some way, shape, or form, but there are Sweet Baby Inc. employees melting down on social media, telling their audiences to falsely report the individual who created the list. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, this all started because someone simply made a list that compiled all of the games available on Steam that Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on in some way, shape, or form. And there was an article that went up by Niche Gamer that kind of brought attention to this list for people who might want to follow it. It says Steam Curator warns players if Sweet Baby is involved in a game. And of course, over the past few years, there have been so many companies that Sweet Baby has worked with that have not been, um, you know, part of projects that have been publicly announced, like there are a plethora of companies that we don't know exactly how Sweet Baby affected some of their releases or which releases they've affected, but they still did work with them that people have always questioned and probably will forever question, but there are plenty of games that we actually know the specifics of what they did, like with the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League title, we know for a fact that Sweet Baby Inc. did script writing, they did banter, they did chat, I mean, they did a bunch of different things, and the game was a complete and utter nightmare, but the article says a new Steam curator is making it their mission to warn gamers if Sweet Baby Inc. has been involved in a game's development. For those who don't know, Sweet Baby Inc. is a narrative consultation company that offers a variety of services, including writing, cinematics, dialogue, copywriting, story pitches, world building, most notably cultural consultation, sensitivity and inclusion reading, risk and opportunities assessment, and much more much more. Whenever you see Sweet Baby Inc. is affiliated with a project, um, it's most likely that it's going to be a complete and utter woke nightmare. It's very sad to see the influence that they have gained in the gaming industry in just a few short years, but the curator actually uses proof of the company's involvement retrieved either through credits uploaded to YouTube or from Sweet Baby's website directly, and yes, they do love to show off the projects that they've been part of, and they do love to boast about it. And this list has gone pretty viral on social media. I mean, it's kind of blown up, and as you can see, there are a ton of games on it. Gotham Knights, South of Midnight, Hyper Light Breaker, Goodbye Volcano High, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I mean, there are a plethora of video games that they've worked on, and the list is actually over 10,000 followers now, and because it has blown up, that means that it has drawn the ire of Sweet Baby Inc. employees. The first was a narrative designer at Sweet Baby Inc. They've actually protected their posts because they cannot deal with the fact that people were calling them out as they uh, beg their audience to report this list and report this individual's. This was the, the tweet uh, that they made. The Steam Curator Harassment Group Sweet Baby Inc. detected it is led by this person, then they tagged them. Here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Even with the discriminatory language filed off, the group itself still fails the code of conduct, which actually is not true because in no place in this thread did the original curator say we need to go and we need to harass individuals that work for Sweet Baby and here's their social media links and this person did not say oh we need to try to get these games banned. It is simply a cohesive and comprehensive list that points out all of the titles that Sweet Baby Inc. in some way shape or form has been affiliated with in case you do not want to go and 
monetarily support them, which is not against, uh, you know, Steam's policies at all whatsoever. Now, of course, keep in mind, Valve is listed as a client on Sweet Baby's website, so they might find an unfair reason to actually get this list banned and to get this Steam user's account banned, but that at this point has not happened. Their account is still fine. And there was another Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, consultant who tweeted about this. Their name is Felix at Home. They have complained many, many times over uh, over the past few months about people simply not wanting to support Sweet Baby. He had tweeted, for example, Steam doesn't have guidelines for curators, as far as I can tell, that would prevent someone from starting a curation group that focuses on, say, Sweet Baby Inc. and warns people to not buy games they're associated with, which could just list any game at all. But the point of this list is that the individual who made it actually puts proof, whether, again, it's like IMDb pages or credits and they link to YouTube videos, like, they do provide proof as to how they found out that Sweet Baby Inc. was associated with that project, which I think is great. This thread, um, this curation list will be linked down below in the description and the pinned comment in case you want to fo follow it and ultimately support it because I do think that it is really great to see people coming together and wanting to speak with their wallets and say, hey, listen, I don't want to support Sweet Baby Inc. I think that they are a cancer to the video game industry and they are severely damaging all the projects that they're part of. And I am simply going to follow this list so that I do not have to support Sweet Baby in the future. I mean, of course, I'm sure that there are going to be games that are overlooked that do not make it to the list so i would still do my own research if i was a you know an average consumer who didn't want to support sweet baby inc but at the same time i do think that this list is definitely something a lot of people will come to appreciate I personally think that it is hilarious to see how much these people are melting down over a simple list. It is pathetic that they are trying to ping Valve and they are trying to get them to ban this person's account and also this list just so that what people can't see a comprehensive list of games that Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on so that they can steer clear of them. It's just such a pathetic situation, and these people are totally and completely sensitive snowflakes. They cannot take any criticism at all whatsoever, and they have gone on to lock their X accounts because they do not want people pinging them and actually saying, hey, listen, I completely disagree with you. I think that this is an awful take, and I in actually calling them out, and it will be interesting to see if Steam actually does anything that they want and does try to ban this person's steam account i really hope that they don't but unfortunately it wouldn't surprise me given how much censorship they have participated in over the past few years but as of right now when i'm making this video this list is still up it will be linked in the description and i do think that it is a very clear and comprehensive list that a lot of people should be following but that's all that i really had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this give it a like and if you didn't give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video really soon